Okay, we're now going to make a main menu. So these ones are dead simple. So you go to create. Again, you have the option of watching and listening rather than hitting keys and forgetting. Okay, this time we're going to make a blank form. So the blank form will look like that, just a big piece of white that you can play on. Okay, we then go up here in the corner, go to the view, down to design view, and this is sort of our workspace. So first thing I'm going to do is go into design. You'll notice up the top that those three tabs are the only ones that you can actually use. So see how they're slightly darker, sort of maroney burgundy colour? Okay, first one I want to do is add a heading to my thing. It's very important that you get the one that is AA. So the one that's AB beside is a text box that we're not going to use. So AA lets us put the heading. So I can put main menu. Okay, I can make it bigger by going to the format and changing the font size and all those things. I can stuff around with colors and arrange things and do all that. But for today, plain boring like that will be just fine. But the formats all like this way. Okay. Next bit we're going to do is add a couple of buttons. So how did we add a button before? So if we go to design, go to our Forex button again, put it somewhere. Again, this time we're playing with form operations. So this time, rather than close a form, we're going to open a form. So we get to here, it will say which form do you want to open. We've, we've only got two to choose from, so I'll do the students one first. So remember this is data from a table, the other one's data from a query. Okay, it will say show it all, that'll be fantastic. We might say open students form. Don't worry about the last step. And again, you'll get yourself a button. It will make it quite tiny, but you can go and tweak it. And I want it to look like so. Later on, we can go and change the color from blue to red or green. So if you had a company that had bright red as your logo um, and all your branding is bright red, you could put red background or pictures of whatever. Okay, I'll do it one more time with the query stuff. So this time, same thing, we're going to make another button. Generally, we try to make them the same size. So form operations. We're going to open a form. This time we want to open this query one. We want to show everything. Open, um, show 90% plus students. So giving your button a decent name makes a lot of sense. Again, last time I used 24 font. I went too big there, 24. So there's that thing. If you were doing it really professionally, you'd line those up and make them the same size. So it's a bit stupid if you have something like that and then there's another button below it that size and then you've got one that's half the size. Okay, now that you've got it to that stage, we can add background images and an image out here of your company logo or whatever you want. But we're now going to go and have a look at it. So here's my main menu ready to rip. If I click on this, what happens? Okay, and you'll notice the student's form sits over the top of it. So my main menu form is still sitting there. So I can go through them and have a look. If I close it, it closes the form and it just drops back to where it was. Same thing here. There's my query stuff and I change it. The great thing about writing queries is if my data changes, so if someone has remarked Pat's maths and he actually got 99%, the query will pick that up straight away. You don't have to go and change it in 48 places. And again, if I close that, we're back to here. So they're pretty handy thing.